Hey guys, what's up? Um, I just wanted to make a quick video on some cacti um, that I'm fostering. And by fostering, I mean one of them is going to my aunt's. The neighbor is outside, so that's what's all that loud noise, if you can hear it. Um, but this in question that is suffering a lot, um, this is a baby. Uh, she, I'm gonna call it a she, but she doesn't have any roots at the moment, so we're just putting her in uh, a bunch of very damp water, and then uh, we put her in some soil that is very wet, and now I'm gonna keep her outside with some fertilizer pellets, and same with this one. This one has roots, but it's not as bad, or it's not as bad. Um, cause it doesn't have, it got attacked by a cat. Yes, it got attacked by a cat. And then, that's my aloe vera. And then those are my, my big boys that also got attacked. Actually, he didn't get attacked. Um, he got dismembered. He was mem dismembered. And then this one's just my baby that I bought. So yeah, look at them, they're so tiny. Yeah, so I'm gonna go over here and talk to you guys away from my neighbor, because I'm nervous. And um, uh, so if you're ever wondering how I, so I took the baby and I put it, since it doesn't have roots, I put it about a centimeter underneath completely soaked wet dirt but uh it's not dripping soaked it's just enough to transplant and then um and the the mom i just left it in its original dirt um the person that i got the the foster from um she she gave it to me and she also watches the video she'll probably comment on this one because um she's probably going to see it and wondering how they're doing um but yeah so i put it underneath about a centimeter so about that much and then um put fertilizer pellets throughout the the jar or it's a clay it's a clay pot the pot um i i always get eight eight is it centimeter or inches i can't remember it's eight yeah, it's eight centimeters uh, jars or pots because I find that they outgrow their pots a lot quicker um, when I'm transplanting. But you always put um, a like, so they're shaking pellets. They're shaking fertilizer pellets. And I put them on three different levels and just shake a little tiny bit. They only need a little bit. Like, um, so I gave my transplant up there um he didn't have any roots either but now he has roots which is nice um but uh he he got so i did the same thing i put uh fertilizer pellets on each three levels of his container and then um ended up taking water like watered soil and made sure that he had a cup of water each day or each week sorry not each day that would be over watering um but each week i would give him a cup of water instead of each month a cup of water because um he didn't have any roots right so we needed to keep him hydrated especially since he was all sunken in but now he's looking really healthy and i only water him in that little baby cactus um about uh about a month like i usually end up forgetting about them but it's fine because they don't need much water but i do it about a month ish maybe a little bit more than a month but uh when you're transplanting a, a cactus that doesn't have any roots you want to keep them hydrated so then they start forming roots if that makes sense um and then also the the fertilizer pellets give them um energy to form those roots so it just makes a whole big system within the pot 
I know that some people don't like using fertilizer for cacti and stuff, but uh, I only put pellets in, uh, not even once a year, because it was my, it was last year that I started using pellets, and, well, my aloe vera plant doesn't have any more, but uh, I see that my cacti still have some, so I don't need to get that many. Um, I also need, you're probably wondering why they're in those things, uh, I need to, um, like, uh, pots. I need to transplant them. And this one had a scar, so I was just getting rid of that right now. It looks pretty bad and beaten up because he's an aloe vera plant and he was kind of beaten up at the store. Also, if you guys know what this little rash thing is, can you please let me know? If I should cut it off or not because I feel like it's like glossy and bumpy so I don't know if that's like a thing that I should be concerned about because it's also on this one too like if I should cut it off or not and then these guys are gonna be separated soon and put in a bigger pot because he's outgrown it he doesn't need a roommate um, but yeah I need to get them bigger pots then this little guy, once I f see that it started rooting, I'm going to give it off to my aunt. And then this guy, I think I might, if if he gets bigger, I'm going to um, take him back to Christine, which is the name of the person that I got them from, if you didn't know. Um, I didn't say anything. <laughs> so. That's just our compost waste that I use. That's 100% uh, compost. There's nothing else in it other than um, soil mix, compost, and as you can see, I already put some compost in it. But yeah, there's only 100% compost in there to help them grow. And yeah, they're looking pretty okay. They're very sunken in, which is not good. And they don't have any spikes, which is also not good because I think the cat might have taken them off other than the top spikes. That's all that, they, that he has, but which I'm quite concerned about, especially with this guy, he should be, if, if he was having, if this girl was having babies at this, this time and he's this small, that means that he's probably branching out for water because he wasn't hydrated enough. That's what I was thinking because that's what happened with him and his mother. Um, but yeah, yeah, those are my plants, my children. Anyways, peace out guys, hope you liked the little vlog um, of my plants. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, write in the comment uh, section. If you also have, would like to talk about your plants, write it down in the comment section. And if you think that I could probably do something better, um, I always put a ring around my my cacti so that it goes down and into the, like like I always put like a ring around them. I started with this one, but I haven't started with these two. I put a ring around. Water seeps into the like the corners and goes down instead. So then the roots have a harder time getting out to the water. Um, if you didn't know, cacti are a type of plant that needs to spread their roots to get w to water. But um, usually I wouldn't give them such a big pot for such a tiny cactus like that one. Um, but it just came in like a pot, so I was like, why not use it? Um, but yeah, hopefully he grows a lot faster. And hopefully he grows a lot taller because that should not be happening right now. I'm really wondering because she did say that she watered it at least once a month, which is pretty good for a cactus. But when you get it straight from the store, it's better to advise the person. I know, like, um, does this have names on it? So, like, I have this and it says to water, uh, uh one to two weeks but I just give them a full cup instead of just like a spritz because I find it's easier on them and it's harder hardery hardier hardier for them to grow if that makes sense 
so then they have a lot more time and space to grow. It's just nicer on them. And uh, yeah, it's really hot out here compared to, because I'm all, I'm in all black. Like I have a New York shirt and some Costco pants because why not? But yeah, I'm wearing pants. It's fucking hot. Um, anywho, if you have any comments, concerns or anything that I'm doing, um, put in the co uh, comment section. If you think that I could be doing something better, put it in the comment section. Talk about your plants um, in the comment section. I would love to talk about or talk with you guys about your plants and everything. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Peace out.